On New Year's Day 2018, I released a video about the closing of the Cone Mills White Oak plant, which was the last selvage denim mill in America. And that video had a very somber tone. It was kind of like a day of mourning for a lot of people because that meant that there was no more selvage denim being produced in the US, which is pretty damn sad. Now, if you're not familiar with selvage denim or its history, I've made you a video right here to bring up the speed. Now, the question on everybody's mind after the closure was announced was what was gonna become of the Draper X3 shuttle looms, which had been making selvage denim in this plant for so long. Now, I had predicted that they probably would be auctioned off by whoever bought the property and most likely sold to someplace overseas. I mean, they're, they're heavy, heavy pieces of equipment. And they'd just be auctioned off and kind of dispersed throughout Europe and Japan and maybe a few left here in America. Now, this was the denim that your grandfather wore, dense, tough, and full of character. These shuttle looms worked at a snail's pace compared to modern machinery, taking about two hours to weave enough fabric for just one pair of jeans. Compare that with today's air jet looms, which can produce the same amount of fabric in just over five minutes. Now, any denim enthusiast will tell you that usually there is a price to be paid for efficiency. You know, you trade a denim with soul, with character, for one that is sterile and kind of homogenized and pretty damn boring. And especially with the White Oak Cone Mills plant, you know, it was like, this was the denim that was on the backs of the hardworking men and women who built this country. It was a part of our history. To think about those shuttle looms being sold off was frankly depressing. Meet Eric Goldstein. Now, if you've ever worn jeans in the past 30 years, it's safe to assume that Eric had something to do with them. He began his career working at Ralph Lauren, where he was on the RRL launch team. Then he moved on to The Gap, where he founded their 1969 denim line. He started a business selling American-made selvage jeans called The Jean Shop in 2003. Next, he co-founded DenimRepair.com with his wife and did consulting for brands like Todd Snyder along the way. He finally joined Vidalia Mills in 2019, where he made it his mission to save the White Oak Draper shuttle looms. Now, the common theory at that time was that the looms had been destroyed before the mill itself was to be demolished. But only someone with Eric's industry connections could find out the truth that the looms sat where they've always been, bolted to the wooden floor, covered in plastic, many with denim still on them. Vidalia was able to acquire 46 of the 47 looms, with one going to the Greensboro Historical Society. Of course, Vidalia also needed people to run and maintain these 70-year-old machines, so they recruited some of White Oak's former employees. Interestingly, Vidalia also purchased the wood floor that the looms were attached to. Now, rumor has it that the old floor flexed with the looms, ultimately being a component in the character of the fabric. Now, in addition to the 46 Draper looms, Vidalia also has 40 new Picanol looms and 30 vintage Picanol President shuttle looms with a goal to produce 7 million yards of fabric per year. The plant also operates on 70% hydroelectric power, some solar, and a plan to grow their own cotton on the 150-acre property in front of the mill to shorten the supply chain even further. One of the first brands to embrace Vidalia Selvage Denim was Left Field NYC, and they continue to offer some fantastic models in Vidalia Denim. A few other brands using Vidalia Denim include Rally Denim Workshop, Imogene and & Willy, and Freno Cloth. Now the story of the Cone Mills White Oak plant closing down and those X3 Draper shuttle looms, you know, it has a happy ending. Hopefully they'll be click clacking away at Vidalia for years and years to come. It's just so cool to think of these old machines, which really can't be replicated. You know, I mean, people can make modern versions of them, but those original machines have been cranking out denim for almost a century now. That's crazy. And they're gonna continue to do so, being maintained and run by people who have been doing it for a long time awesome so happy to see that and if you want to see more videos on denim i've made you a whole playlist here go ahead and check that out if you would like every video that i've ever made on denim everything from a 101 primer like i mentioned at the beginning of this video to the most recent is in that playlist thank you so much for watching you know you took time out of your day to come here and watch my video and watch me yap 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 and honestly it's not lost on me thank you so much and i really do mean it anyway guys catch you next time